Hello everyone, my name is Derek Mann. I'm a sophomore interdisciplinary studies major with a concentration in community development from Florida and I attend Howard University. Good morning class, how are you guys doing? Good. All right, so today we're going to be learning about word problems and can you have a volunteer read the objective for us? Students will be able to effectively identify useful information in order to solve a word problem. Okay, so yesterday, you guys know, we learned about two-step equations. So we're going to be learning about word problems that focus on two-step equations. So the most important part of solving word problems is reading it completely and thoroughly. So can I have a volunteer read the question, please? 331 students went on a field trip. Six buses were filled and seven students traveled in cars. How many students were in each bus? All right, so now the next step is to identify the most important parts that you need to solve the question. So can someone tell me what they think is an important part of the equation? 331 students. All right. The next one, there's six buses. All right. Seven. Thank you. Alrighty, and the, we need to also focus on exactly what they're asking us to solve for. Mm -hmm. So we're solving for how many students are in each bus. So we need a variable to figure out how many students are in each bus. So we're going to use x today for that variable. And x is going to represent the number of students in each bus. Then we're going to write down that there are six buses in total. Number of buses. There are seven students not on the bus. Number of students not. And then the total number of students is 331. So, how do you guys think we should set up this equation? Um, equally, equaling the total number of students. Okay, so we're going to put what number on this side? Um, 331. Good job. Okay, and since there are six buses and we're finding x, the number of students on each bus, we're going to have six x and then what, how are we going to incorporate the seven students not on the buses? Um, since they're not on the bus, we would say plus seven. Yes, because when you add seven to the six x, you're going to get 331 students in total. Good job, guys. Sorry. All right, so I, pre I prepared a little chant for you guys to remember what we learned today. So just read along, and I'm going to play the music. I'll tell you guys when to start. See, you solve this problem. I love it when you solve this problem. Everybody solve this problem. We're about to do this now. Read the question, then we're gonna pull the numbers. Last, we're gonna make the equation. Now we understand this math. 